not that easy, you guys. Okay. All right. Okay. Hold on. I'm just trying to keep tight. We swing the end that way. Yep. My name is Caroline Archer um, and this is Grace Archer. I am uh, Tom Archer's daughter-in-law, married to his youngest son, Mark, and this is Tom's youngest granddaughter. Grace is um, such a significant part of Tom's story because Tom was admitted to the hospital when I was 37 weeks pregnant with Grace. We had to come to the hospital because my husband collapsed on the stairs. Tom was a people person. He loved people, loved interacting with them, and uh, he was a family man. He loved his family. His, his care at the hospital was extraordinary. Even when as things turned, uh, I felt like they turned with it. They did everything they could, and um, even on his last day, he was telling people thank you. So that tells you exactly uh, how good the care was. Highlight of his care, I don't know if that's the right word, but the most memorable was of course, um, when Kate facilitated the meeting of his granddaughter. She was one floor above him. And uh, the fact that, that that morning, you know, having Kate come in and say, I'm gonna see what I can do to, to make this happen, you know, and lo and behold, it did. It was an amazing thing to observe when they came and took Tom in that bed with all the wires and all the oxygen tanks that he needed to meet Grace. Look at that, guys. Oh, a beautiful puppy. <laughs> you better give her a kiss while you can. No, I probably shouldn't. Too much. No. Don't get too upset. Yeah. Don't I don't know how I can repay you guys. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Nothing to repay. Obviously, when you lose someone, it can sour your your feelings on a place um, and you go through all those emotions um, but I've never once regretted the fact he was here he didn't even on his last day you realize how important nurses and respiratory nurses and you know specialists become in the ICU there's a picture that says nominate an extraordinary nurse. We stared at it every day, 24 hours a day for three weeks. And my mom had this journal, and as we would have new stories seemingly daily, she'd make sure to write down the names. You know, it's difficult to capture all the variety of personalities that were part of this story because he had so many caregivers. Each night they would change, each day they would be someone different. But even when they weren't on duty. Maybe they were on a different floor. They would come by to say hi and say, how you doing? It was just people taking the extra steps, the extraordinary steps of being outside of themselves, caring. I'm very grateful to, to the hospital and all that they did for us as a family, for Tom in particular, and Tom's the reason I'm here, because he would want every one of them recognized. The whole experience meant a lot, you know, to me. It, it, was, it was probably um, one of the hardest, but nicest moments in our life. At that point, she didn't have a name, <laughs> um, <laughs> which was driving me crazy. Um, you know, because my brother, put the baby in his arms and said, you know, what do you think she looks like? A, a Teresa, a Claire, or a Grace? And my dad said Grace. And so finally we had a name, <laughs> you know, and meant everything to our family. Like what? Grace? 
You like Chris? Yeah. <laughs> We're cool with Chris? <laughs> <laughs> Grace to me. Grace to me. Archer.